you are very magnificent and very beautiful in my eyes. Your beauty has dazzled me to the point where I haven't stopped looking at you since just now. Oh yeah, up to that point. Thank you very much sir for the compliment anyway. But nothing. It's really just an observation. I would love to know a bit more about you. If you don't mind. Can I have your number please? Yes, it will be a pleasure sir. I will give it to you later after you have finished shopping. Okay, that works. Thank you very much beauty. You're welcome sir. Go see you later. Great. I am very happy to have managed to get this girl's number. I will soon call this girl so we can go eat at a local restaurant. In any case, I am very happy to have met the man who had just taken my number. He seems really handsome and I would like to get to know him a bit more deeply. That's a bit of what happened today. I automatically fell in love with this gentleman. Oh my daughter go slowly with him? Don't tell me you're already in love with this man. Honestly, what I feel for this man is stronger than me. My heart has been beating for him ever since our eyes met. My daughter, I feel that you are completely in love with this gentleman. I really want to see him again. You surprise me my daughter, but go easy with him because I don't want him to hurt your heart and then disappear into the wild. Okay mom, I got your message. We have been on very good terms for months and months. Without denying it, I have never known a woman like you. That's why I'm really considering Marion. You are not just one shooting star among many others. Yes, thank you very much Zabaston. It makes me so happy. But nothing. It is the truth. What I am telling you. You know, I am so happy to be able to share these good times with you. Me too, Zabaston. So tell me, would you like me to be your man for life? Yes, I want it, Zabaston. All right. You know that with me, you will have to be patient, because I would not want to know my man before marriage. I am still a virgin, and I really want to save myself for the one who will marry me. It suits me very well. All right. So... You're ready for us to preserve ourselves until the wedding. Yes, I am so ready. I am so happy to have known you, Zabaston. I can't wait for us to get married. Me too, Laura. I can't wait for us to get married. So my daughter, what did you want to tell me? You know, Mom, I was going to tell you that soon, me and Zabaston were going to get married. He is really a man like no other, and he really has everything I need. He is very kind, thoughtful and has a good financial position. What amazed me the most about him is that he is Christian and honestly, he seems very serious. I really see myself by his side forever. Well anyway, Laura, I am very happy for you. You make me very proud. Thank you so much mom. It's the happiest day of my life, Zabaston. Thanks for taking me as your wife. Oh, you're welcome, Laura. That's normal. So, Mr. Zabaston, would you like to take on as a spouse? And Laura? Laura, would you like to marry Mr. Zabaston here? Yes, I want it, sir. Yes, with great pleasure, Mr. Mayor. Thank you for honoring me. All I have to do is make you a beautiful baby afterwards. You surprise me. In any case, I can't wait. Me to my champion. <laughs> my daughter, you are now married. Really do not hesitate to spend a very good honeymoon with your husband. Okay mom and thank you so much for supporting me so far. You are welcome my daughter, that's normal. I am very happy to have a good time and we'll see you soon. Thank you so much mom. See you soon. Come on my husband, let's go. 
Yes, let's go. Let's go for a week of fun. That's exactly my wife. I feel that we are going to enjoy these precious little moments. Of course, my man. Honestly, there is something that I really don't understand at all. What did we come to this hotel for? We're not here to just look into each other's eyes anyway. Since getting married, I haven't even seen my husband's reproductive system yet. In the evening, he tells me every time that he is tired and that he wanted to rest. And in the early morning, he hurries to go take a shower before I wake up. It seems he's hiding something from me. Here, well, I'm going to see him to ask him a few questions. Because it's still not normal that after our marriage we have not yet do anything until today. How can a man be tired for three days like this without doing anything? Honestly, it's really starting to scare me. Maybe it's me who's not shooting it or what? I am still beautiful and I still have the essentials I need on me to seduce a man. Frankly, I don't understand what's going on at all. I absolutely have to go see him so that it can enlighten me. Hi darling. Are you sure that everything is fine and that you haven't forgotten anything until today? Of course, my wife. Everything is fine. Are you really sure of yourself? Tell me everything. What is wrong? We're still supposed to spend our whole night together, but every time, you make excuses for me and dodge me all the time. I really need to know what is wrong with you. Am I not beautiful enough to seduce you anyway? Oh my wife, the problem is deeper than you think. What? You know, I have a sexual impotence problem. My reproductive system is not working. What? I can't believe my ears. Why did you keep that from me for a long time? Honestly, it's because I didn't know how to tell you. I was so afraid you would leave me for someone else. Because in the past, all the girls to whom I confessed this had abandoned me. But darling, these are not things you can hide from your partner. I am halfway and you are supposed to tell me the truth and not hide anything from me. Yes, I know, darling. Excuse me really for not informing you about this situation before we got married. It's mine, you say that. Already, we had just started our marriage with a lie. How do you want our relationship to last over time? If we started lying to each other very early already. I totally understand what you're saying to me. But I really didn't want to lose you. That's why I didn't tell you anything. Sweetie. Do you think a normal woman is going to want to be in a relationship with you? Never in my life you have lied to me and I am not ready to forgive you. Good luck to you for the future and goodbye. Oh please don't go away. What am I going to do now? I am completely screwed. I bitterly regret having spent an evening when I was much younger, with an evil girl who made me powerless. Thank you so much for agreeing to spend the night with me. Well nothing. It is normal. At the same time, it's my job. It's your job. Of course. What? Yes sir, I often come into this world to collect the manhood of men. From today, it's over for you. Zebastian, you will never have sexual power again. I had just taken your manhood like that from you. <laughs> what? Stop with your crap, you can take manhood. The little girls of today? You don't respect anyone anymore, right? Okay Sebastian. That's what we're going to see. Your semen data has been transferred to the bottom of the operating system. You will never be able to have children or satisfy a woman again in your whole life. I'm the one who's telling you that. This will teach you not to jump on anything that moves around you. I really don't believe in nonsense. Stop it young lady. You will understand soon, I promise you, you will understand soon. If I knew, I would never have a relationship with this girl. Because it completely destroyed my life. Wow. I was a bit suspicious. I knew very well that there was eel in the rock, so it was because of this problem that he was running away from me all the time. 
How could I marry a man who doesn't work? It's really not possible. I will go see my mom to explain to her what I had just learned about Zabaston. It's really incredible though. I can't wait to see my mom's reaction when she finds out. I really hope that she will support me in the decision I want to make. God, help me, please, do not allow me to be separated from my wife. Help me regain my manhood, because I really regret all the mistakes I made in the past. I regret that I lacked a lot of judgment and that I coupled up with anyone in the past. Well, really take into account my time of ignorance when I had not yet known you in the past. Please, Lord, restore my life, restore my genitals, and restore my marriage. It was in the powerful name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that I prayed. She leads. That's a bit why I came to see you, Mom. Yes, Mom, but I could never imagine that he had this problem. Or Mom, but how can I get out of it? I am completely disoriented. I don't know what to do anymore. You are very comforting to me. You really gave me confidence again without denying. Now, I just want to go and pray and implore God's grace and mercy on our couple, because it's really not normal what happens to us. I have always served the Lord since my youth and I have always protected myself from all the men who courted me in the past. I always told myself that I was going to keep myself pure for my husband. Today he is powerless, impossible. The Lord cannot abandon me like this because he said in his word that he made plans for peace and not for bad luck on us. He always blesses his children and always encourages them to persevere in the faith. Obviously, my daughter the Lord is faithful to his children. Stick to him and you will see that he will do great miracles in your life. Okay mom, thank you so much for all the advice. But you welcome my daughter it's normal. Good mom, I'm going to have to leave. See you very soon. Eternal Father, I humbly come before you to say thank you for the life you give me. Thank you for giving me such a wonderful husband like Zabaston. That's why you send him to me. You know him better than anyone, Lord. I really pray that you will forgive him and cleanse him of all his sins. Please, Lord, disregard those times of ignorance when he did not yet know you. Please, Lord. I know that you did not create him in such a way that brings back to life everything that was already dead in him, Lord, everything that the enemy had already entrenched in him be restored by the precious blood of your son Jesus Christ. Please, Lord, grant me the grace of having a happy and blessed marriage. And it was in the powerful name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that I prayed. Amen. Well, now I have nothing to worry about. I have already left all my worries in the hands of the Lord. Now I know that it is at work in our lives. Blessed be his name. From eternity to eternity, until centuries of centuries. Amen. Well, now I'm going to go home. I can't wait to see my husband. Well, I'm going home. I hope that I will find my wife and that she will finally forgive me. Wow! I did not expect to see you back home at all. I really bless God for the fact that you forgave me, because I honestly believed that I would never see you again in my own eyes. You know, darling, the Lord convinced me to forgive you. I no longer have fears or stresses in me because I know that our God will not abandon us. Amen. You know, Laura, I am very happy to have married you because you are the only woman who has learned such a thing about me and who did not run away from me like the plague. I really bless God for your life, Laura. Thanks my husband. You know, I pray to God for this situation to work out for our couple. Amen. I too pray to God for this situation to work out in my life. Hallelujah. Let's give all the glory back to God. Lord, thanks to my daughter. Please remove the shame on her couple and bring her back into her glory and destiny. Do not allow her enemies to rejoice and laugh at her. I beg you, Lord, and have mercy on this couple. Bless them in any area they want. Lord, and it was in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that I prayed. Amen. This has been going on for months and months, and we have not always found a solution until today. 
I have the impression that God did not listen to us. Frankly, I am beginning to despair little by little. My faith is faltering and I am genuinely beginning to lose confidence in myself. Today I made an appointment with a doctor. I hope it will lead to a solution to my impotence problem. As I was telling you, we can perform an operation and prescribe some medications later. Okay, doctor. And you think it will work properly? Of course if sir, that's our business. Did you discuss this with your wife anyway? Oh no, definitely not. I don't want her to know that I want to have surgery. Alright, sir. But know that this will not be without consequences, because there is no zero risk in surgical operations. Okay, doctor, there will be no problem with that. Okay, that's working. I think we will be able to try our operation in two weeks. Super, sir. I can't wait to see what happens. Okay, sir. See you in two weeks then. Perfect, doctor. Soon everything will be back in order in my house and my wife will be so happy and satisfied with me. This man does not yet know that he would have a small piece of rubber in place of his genitals. It is the same day that I will tell him this because I absolutely must make the hospital profitable as much as possible. Unfortunately, his life can never be the same again, unless a miracle happens in the process. Safwa, my man. The day went well. Yes, very well darling. How are you? Except I can't stop thinking about our life as a couple. I did not stop praying all day long. Okay. Do you really think that the Lord will do something for us? But of course, unless you're still hiding something from me. You know what? God does not abandon those who seek him. He is fair and he loves justice. Those who are upright and who do not doubt his power contemplate his face. He always protects his children and keeps them from any danger. All right, my wife. Thank you so much for this reminder. Come on, I'm going to take a shower. All right, husband. As I said, we have a new guinea pig who will have his genitals operated soon. Great, so I'm going to make you a new plastic gadget for your new patient. I hope that with this little toy, he will be able to enjoy himself with his other half. Oh! <laughs> Angels of the Eternal protect you. You know, I too will come very soon to join you in bed. Alright. Go see you later. Eternal God in your hands, I am handing over this house. May your powerful hand take control of this place. Lord, we abandon ourselves to you. Come and stay with us comes to take control of everything that is ours in this house. Lord, I trust you so much and I continue to hope that you will do a great miracle in my husband's life. Thank you so much for restoring my home. I know you already did it. It was in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that I prayed. Amen. Come on, let's go. I'm going to rest. Dear Lord, this was to tell you that if you still haven't received your marriage blessing yet, it was because of your husband's disbelief. My husband is still in disbelief so far. Of course madam look what your husband went to do today that day. As I was telling you, we can perform an operation and prescribe some medications later. Okay doctor. And you think it will work properly? Of course if sir, that's our business. Have you even talked about this with your wife? Oh no, definitely not. I don't want her to know that I want to have surgery. All right, sir. But know that this will not be without consequences, because there is no zero risk in surgical operations. Okay, doctor, there will be no problem with that. Okay, that's good. I think we will be able to try our operation in two weeks. Super, sir. I can't wait to see what happens. Okay, sir. See you in two weeks then. Perfect, doctor. Soon everything will be back in order in my house and my wife will be so happy and satisfied with me. This man does not yet know that he will have a small piece of rubber in place of his genitals. It is the same day that I will tell him this because I absolutely must make the hospital profitable as much as possible. Unfortunately, his life can never be the same again, unless a miracle happens in the process. Wow. 
I could never imagine that he could do something like this again. How can he still be incredulous up to this point? I don't know that at all, madam. Know that God is in control of everything that happens in your home. He is aware that you need his intervention. The only thing that's blocking is your husband's lack of faith. Tell him to no longer doubt the power of God and to trust completely in the Lord. And I assure you that you will see the glory of God in your life. You're welcome, madam. Just keep on praying. Go goodbye. Oh what a vision. Incredible but true. I'm going to see my husband right away. Thank you very much, Lord, for being with us and for comforting our hearts. Come on, let's go. I don't know why I have this thought, but I am beginning to feel in my heart that soon the situation of my daughter's husband would work by the grace of the Lord. Lord have mercy to this wonderful couple, because we put all our trust in you. Honey, I could never imagine you could do something like this. How can you go see a doctor without notifying me? Didn't you see that I was patient with you and that I was just waiting for the Lord's moment in our life? Yes, but darling, you know, I lacked faith. And why didn't you tell me? So don't be surprised that we have to tell each other everything and that we no longer have to hide anything in the couple. If you had told me now, we wouldn't have come to this. Surely I would have comforted you. That's true, but you know. Really support me in your prayers, because my faith is not yet fully restored like yours. I promise you that I will not hide anything from you from today in our relationship. All right, darling. I also promise God that I will remain faithful and integral to him until the end of my days if he healed me. All right, my man. I am here to support you. Don't worry by the grace of God, everything will be fine. Okay, thank you very much my wife for understanding. My man, it's normal. I am looking forward to our new guinea pig. Soon, he will be able to go home with his new plastic toy. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lord, for showing us that you are staying with us. Please, Lord, don't be angry against me. I am really asking for your forgiveness for my lack of faith. I promise you I won't go to the doctor for surgery again. Really increase my faith. Finally, that I can persevere until you come back and take us. It was in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that I prayed. Amen. Well, I'm going to rest a little bit. Your prayer has found compassion in the eyes of the Lord. From today on, you will no longer have impotence problems. The Lord had just completely restored you in. May the Lord bless you and strengthen you even more. Hallelujah! What a dream! I give all the glory to the Lord God. Amen. Thanks Jesus. I am so thankful for what I had just seen in my dream. I can't wait to share this dream with my wife. Truly, our God is extremely alive and powerful. But what is going on? Honey, I could hear your voice from the living room. Why are you so happy like that? I am angry because Zabaston finally did not come. Making the plastic toy is too expensive. You have to repay it to me, Zabaston. You have to repay it to me. As I said, Laura, that's what happened. Really? May all the glory goes to God forever and ever. Amen. Tomorrow, first thing in the morning you will go to the hospital for the analyses. I can't wait to get the results. It will be my great pleasure my wife. Me too I can't wait to get the results. As I said my love. Wait for me here, I will quickly go see this doctor for my consultation. Alright, my man, I'll wait here. Sir can I know the reasons why you no longer came for your operation? It's because I finally understood that this operation will be useless. Oh good. Have you thought about the well-being of your spouse? Of course. Drive what do you know? I am a Christian. I put my case back in God's hands. He created me. It is capable of restoring me. 
Okay, but you had to tell me in advance, because I had even already created plastic toys for you. But hey, that's okay, I'm not going to force you to do this operation. It is your choice. Now can we move on to the consultation you came for? Of course. I hope that everything goes well today. In any case, everything will be fine because we are children of God. I have to keep my faith no matter what news my husband comes to tell me in a few minutes. Wow! Sounds like we were in a movie. What did you do to recover? It is the work of God. If I understand correctly, you mean that it is God who made you regain your manhood? It's exactly that, Doctor. It is unbelievable. I had never seen anything like it. There you go, Doctor. I am a living proof of the glory of God. I would like to know if, in the meantime, you had taken medication for your recovery by chance? Not at all. As I told you earlier, I just put my faith in God. And I and my wife prayed to ask for the mercy of the Lord Jesus Christ. And he has to perform this miracle. I can also attest to the fact that what happened to you was really a miracle. If I have one piece of advice for you, it is that you should truly attach yourself to this God who has done this great work in your life. Don't worry, Doctor. I vowed to remain faithful to the Lord Jesus Christ and I will never go back to what I promised. That is very good. I think now you don't need to come to the hospital. That is exactly it. Good. Enjoy your healing then. Thank you so much, Doctor. Goodbye. It is impressive what had just happened. Really the God that this man worships is very powerful. I can attest to that. This man is very lucky. As I said, darling, I am truly healed. The Lord has given me the grace to become a real virile man again. No more sexual impotence problems. What I saw in my dream has come true. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Now I'm going to be able to make you pretty babies. That's exactly it, my darling, Coco. I knew that the Lord was going to work a miracle in our marriage. You know, even the doctor couldn't believe it. And what did you tell him? I told him that it was God's work. It is good. I thank God for this great miracle that he had just performed in our lives. And yes, my wife, I too want to thank God. Okay, darling. Almighty Lord, we humbly prostrate ourselves before you to thank you for the extraordinary miracle you have shown in our lives. Thank you for your infinite grace that transcends our understandings and brightens our dark days. May we, in our gratitude, Live according to your will and spread the love that you have given us to God. We are thankful for the blessings you have generously poured into our lives. Thank you for the life, the love and the moments of joy that you offer us. Give us the wisdom and gratitude to appreciate every gift you give us. Merciful God, we thank you for the innumerable benefits you bring to us every day. May our grateful hearts be filled with praise for your infinite goodness. Let every breath be a testament to our gratitude to you. Thank you, Lord, for your inexhaustible grace. It was in the powerful name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that I prayed. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I encourage you to abstain from intimate relationships outside of marriage because you don't know the spiritual state of the person you're mating with. We need to know that there are good reason why God's word forbids us to have sex before marriage. We need to know that abstinence saves lives. Let's not have fun with our lives, because it could cost us a lot of money. Let us stick to the Lord Jesus Christ and avoid living in sexual debauchery. Let us really take our salvation seriously. God bless you abundantly, dear friends. Brothers and sisters, that's it all for this video. If you like this video, feel free to like it, comment and share around you so that many souls be saved and restored. And don't forget to subscribe to the Sentinel channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. God bless you.